ಬಂದೇ ಗುರುಪದ ದ್ವಂದಂ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ಬಂದೇ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದಸೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದನಂದನ ಬಂದೇ ರಾಧಿಕ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನು ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾಬನಂ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶ್ಯಕಿಪಾಸಿಂಧು ವ್ಯವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೇಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಮೋಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಪಂಗಿರ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದೇ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ವೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಸಿ ದೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ತಭಕ್ತೈ ನಮೋ ನಮ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಂಚನು ತಂ ಸರಂಜಂ ಭೀರ್ತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪನುಧಪಾಲ್ಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರಣಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಲ್ಲವನಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋ ದೂಷವ ದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕೃಪಾಕೃಷ್ಣಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ ಹರೆ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜ ಕನಕಾ ಬುಧ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕವಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಯತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜವರೋ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೋ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಾಸಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನ್ ಸದಾ ನರ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟ ಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿತ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ಪಾಗೀಶಜುಷು ಬದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ ಚ ಭಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ತೆ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬಿಹಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 
राम राम हरे हरे कृष्ण वर्णम तिषा कृष्ण संग पांग्यास्त पार्षद यज्ञर संकीर्तन प्रायर्जयती सुमेधस कृष्ण वर्णम तिषा कृष्ण संग पंगास्त पार्षद यज्ञ संकीर्तन प्रायर्जयती ही सुमेध सह गौड़ गोष्ठीपति गौड़ गोष्ठीपति शिवशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती को स्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमहंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट श्री कृष्ण संकीर्तन एवरी वन हैज दैट अधिकार टू डू श्री कृष्ण संकीर्तन एवरी वन हैज द राइट टू डू कृष्ण संकीर्तन एवरी नॉट इवन एवरी ह्यूमन एवरी वन has the right to do sankirtan to just get the topmost mangal all beast birds everyone insects everyone christians muslims everyone shri krishna sankirtan sankirtan mein in sankirtan everyone has that right maybe he can't speak but he has the right to hear those who can't speak at least they can hear so shri naam sankirtan in shri naam sankirtan everyone has adhikar has the right to hear and speak definitely shri hari naam is bhagwan hari swayam this is not two different things at the same time it is all the same it is oneness shri krishna naam and swayam bhagwan is one that is why in shri krishna naam sankirtan everyone has the right to do shri naam sankirtan in shri krishna like uh, all the kinds of powers are there inside shri krishna there are infinite uh, infinity source of power is krishna shri krishna mein shri krishna there are infinity powers inside krishna so like shri krishna is the source of all the power he is sarva shakti man he is the source of all power and all the powers are there inside krishna in the same way shri krishna naam sankirtan also that all the powers are there in such shri krishna naam sankirtan as well so humans will do hari naam and the females will not do hari naam and the sickness sick people will not do naam sankirtan all children may not do sankirtan and the old people will not do sankirtan it is not this kind of vichar that only males will do bhajan it is written maharaj it is written there that only male will do only bhajan and female don't have the adhikar the right to do bhajan it is not the right thing it means that those who are those who have body those who have taken this body made of five elements pumsa means it means that those who have taken this body those jeevas any body of five elements they have taken okay but they they can also get uh, mangal from hari naam sankirtan they don't need they don't have the capacity to do hari naam but still that mangal will be there for them haridas thakur ji has just uh, told this thing in front of us everyone can get mangal by naam sankirtan so pumsa means those who have just taken this body of five elements sharire dehe pure jo vasati te purusha aur aur ek maane and another meaning is there that purusha kar is there means main bol kar that i am the doer doership is there inside him that everyone has that right to do naam sankirtan that is the absolute dharma bhagwan mein to get to get to do bhakti on to lotus feet of bhagwan by that you will get that suprasiddhit top most anand you will get top most happiness that right you have pumsa means not a male or female pur means that if you are just doing the opposite meaning then nothing will happen so there is actually no stopping that child will not do only old people will do hari naam it's not like that and 
Hari Sikh, he can't do Harinam. Everyone can do. Everyone has the right. Prahlad Maharaj is speaking. Prahlad Maharaj is speaking. When you are just getting your actual consciousness, when the child actually getting his consciousness, then he need to do Harinam. It's already written. Prahlad Maharaj ji has told this point. Prahlad Maharaj ji is speaking this point. Hey Asur Balak, oh Asur boys, when you will get, anyone will get consciousness, he just need to do Hari Bhajan. Apart from Hari Bhajan, there is no other way open. Where you will go? What you will do? There is no alternative way to go. Maybe today or tomorrow, you just need to do, maybe after one lakh years, maybe after one million years, definitely you have to do Harinam because you are Nitya. Your position is Nitya. Maybe after millions of years, you just need to go on this pathway only. On this pathway, definitely you have to come. There is no other pathway open. So, there is actually no stopping that he will not do, he will not do. It's not like that. That he don't have this much power to do Harinam, so he can't do Harinam. So, this kind of vijar is not there in Nam Sankirtan, regarding Nam Sankirtan. That he is child, I am very old. So I don't have this adhikar in Sankirtan, it's not like that. I am a very big Pandit and uh, I am actually, I mean, I and those who are foolish people, they can't do Harinam. This kind of, uh, those who have that De Dharma, that Atma Dharma, this kind of vichar that I am a very fallen, I am fallen person. I will not do Nam Sankirtan with those low class people. Mahaprabhu haven't told this point. Mahaprabhu hasn't shown us this thing. Mahaprabhu has just done Sankirtan with Jagai Madhai as well. Has just started Sankirtan with Jagai Madhai. And they have just transformed Jagai Madhai and they have done Kripa on Jagai Madhai. And just uh, uh, and the whole Jagat Mahaprabhu has shown that uh, how to do Sankirtan. Because in each and everywhere there is a fire all around in this material world. And if a pure devotee is doing Nam Sankirtan all the way, that in whole directions every fire will just get vanquished. If he will do Nam Sankirtan with all the thousands of devotees, Hare Krishna like this, if he is doing, everything will get destroyed. So we don't have anything to do in this. So this I am Kulin, I am from a very low born family. I will not do Sankirtan with them. It is not like that. This kind of Mano Dharma and uh, De Dharma and Atma Dharma, that uh, in everyone, uh, this is not at all possible in Krishna Nam Sankirtan. And uh, just uh, at the time of stool and urine, you are just going to the bathroom. I will not do Sankirtan. It is not like that. And uh, all these conditions, you just need to do Sankirtan all the time. That I am actually in a very sinful situation, I will not do Harinam. All the time you just need to do Harinam. Actually I am a sinful person, I can't do Harinam, this is not the point. So each and every person at every situation can do Nam Sankirtan in whatever condition he is. But those people who are doing Harinam and they are just uh, I will just be maintaining my sinful activities. So this kind of kapat bhav they have this Nam Sankirtan will not come on their tongue. Actual Harinam will not come. You should have this kapat bhav on inside you. Only then Harinam can be possible. There is one point it is very very important in this. There is very one important point in this. What is the actual point? That uh, in this there is no actually caste and creed. That maybe you can speak that I am actually from Christian dharma. If you are thinking that you will just adopt Krishna dharma, you have this which are so who they will actually just make something of you or not, you don't have that kind of which are. They will just be making this kind of which are that from which family you are and from where you are. And in uh, every dharma there is some kind of restrictions that you have to do this, you don't have to do that, and you have to do this. So all these kind of restrictions are definitely come. Maybe any kind of dharma you are taking in this material world, whether, whether Christian, Muslim, Buddhist, whatever you are taking, it definitely they have some rules and regulations and restrictions in them. So they, in these dharma, 
they they have actual connection with this material body they don't have that uh, relationship with atma their dharma is actually with the uh, material mind and body they have that relationship with them whatever dharma you are taking up they will just be seeing then they will be thinking at okay let them take but in atma dharma in bhagavat dharma there is no kind of vichar like this main muslim can't do harinam sankirtan it's not like that they can also do it means that that this kind of so mercifulness and so beautiful atma dharma there can't it is not possible anywhere no dharma is like that and shila bhakti vinod thakur ji has told and shila sachidanand bhakti vinod thakur ji told those those who are doing particular dharma those who are following a particular dharma maybe some christian maybe muslim maybe buddhist who so ever he is they this kind of dharma they have bhakti vinod thakur ji speaking that this is not at all absolute dharma and it is in the pathway of absolute dharma it is just a kind of small footsteps it is just stairs maybe just are going one step on to the stair and uh, they are just going up maybe three steps four steps like this it is just a footsteps on the way of that absolute truth but that atma dharma whoever is doing whatever kind of particular dharma they will definitely get uh, uh, established in atma dharma definitely they have to go maybe after not this term maybe millions of uh, birth they just have to come on this pathway only there is no other way open so the intelligence intelligence in this is that that person is the most intelligent who is uh, from the beginning is uh, thinking that yes this is atma dharma i have to follow this भगवत भक्ति इज अमृत में इन जस्ट ऑर्डर टू गेट दिस काइंड ऑफ नेक्टर ऑफ भगवत धर्म जस्ट टू गेट दिस बॉडी ऑफ जस्ट टू डेज दो आर ऑल द टाइम बिजी इन दिस डूइंग हरि भजन दैट इज द टॉप मोस्ट इंटेलिजेंट वेन आई विल गेट दैट नेक्टर ऑफ हरि नाम दे आर that is called the actual most intelligent this two uh, two days of body you are taking this and who just want to get take that absolute nectar that, that means that to get that bhagavad bhakti he is just trying to get that he is actually intelligent otherwise all other are not intelligent others are not intelligent at all the shloka which i have already started with in this this is actually from shri bhagwan bhagwan ji mahapram from 11th canto i have taken it kar bhajan muni he is actually giving updesh to nimi maharaj instruction to nimi maharaj krishna krishna sangha bandhas to varshadam yagai sankirtana prayer jajanti sarva bhavan kalika what it written there it's written those who are that top most intelligent person so it is there so means who is already fresh they are not at all contaminated with maya those who can understand that what is actually maya what is the difference between maya and krishna what we have to do that is called subuddhi those two are subuddhiman people who are most intelligent on to the lotus mouth all the time krishna naam is going on dancing on their tongue those who are subuddhiman people those who are very intelligent on that their tongue all the time krishna naam is sankirtan is dancing and their varna is that golden color golden complexion is all the time coming that he is speaking krishna krishna these two words are just dancing on his tongue and those who are a krishna and those whose body is just like a golden complexion pitavarno as a vai shanta banga parshad jukto hoka with all the parshad she has just uh, that purush topmost purush is ke dwara by naam sankirtan only sankirtan ke dwara isko archan kare we are just doing archan of that mahapurush कृष्ण वर्णम 
those who are intelligent people for them only they, this by sankirtan yagna they will just be making happy for that mahapurush to that mahapurush it means that in kalyug there is no other way open to just to do naam sankirtan what mahaprabhu has told mahaprabhu has just told to in dai ramanand sambad and swarup damodar ji he speaking to him them just by laughing in a very laughing mood prabhu is just speaking with full happiness prabhu speaking naam sankirtan kalu paramupai there is no other way open just to do naam sankirtan just by do naam sankirtan those that those were krishna varna this uh, two two words are just dancing on their tongue and whose body is just swam like golden complexion he is actually golden in color and is just like a molten gold he is actually that yukt purush this naam sankirtan by naam sankirtan that uh, intelligent people they are just worshiping him and there is no other way open because if you go to the other pathway then you you can't do the archan of that sankirtan pita because you want to do that aradhana want to worship that person that mahapurush then definitely you just need to make him happy so that somebody will be thinking that he somebody is doing bhajan definitely you want to somebody wants to just uh, do bhajan of shiv ji then you have to do bel patra to shiv ji bel patra and just need to give water and all that uh, mala of flowers then you used to have to uh, do his naam sankirtan also of shiv ji so in this kali kal that prabhu mahaprabhu by naam sankirtan only can get uh, uh, satisfied with that fully satisfied bhagwan is getting fully satisfied by naam sankirtan in kali yuga that is the actual rules so these are the actual rules and in kalikal also it is written they are in bhagwat ji mahapuran it is written they are in bhagwat ji mahapuran like this sarakrahi those all those uh, intelligent people they are actually respecting kalikal because kali in this kalikal has uh, so much respect that by naam sankirtan everything is done that's why all those important intelligent people they are actually respecting kali lot of shlokas are there Slowly, steadily, we will be discussing this day by day. Now, actually, the question is coming here that yesterday we were discussing this point. This shloka we were just discussing. Shiman Mahaprabhu in his life, in his lila. has given all practical explanation in front of us because shikhano na jaye apni acharya dharma loke ne sikhaye jab acharya when there is no acharya practical explanation we will not be doing that in front of anyone then we can't show to anyone we don't have that uh, thing that will just become like a uh, that will just be disadvantage for us but we uh, we just want to show uh, uh, others to do that but we don't have this kind of acharan himself on us only we don't have that kind of acharan uh, so how we can teach others so this is a very difficult that is a very dangerous situation if this kind of situation arises that is very much dangerous so that's why those who are already in acharan they can just do that practically mahaprabhu has just practically shown us and especially in this kalikal the very dangerous situation is there what can't be done in this but still those who are taking the, the shelter of naam sankirtan they will just uh, 
they don't need to just worry about anything that is the actual uh, samadhan actual uh, just by the prabhav effect of kali the situation is very dangerous and all the way there is norm aparad all the time it is spreading like a fire in all the directions norm aparad is just spreading and in this present situation actual uh, those who have just um, mahatsang this kind of uh, exp- this kind of uh, spreading is uh, just natural that this kind of uh, effect of kaliyug it is all around just like uh, broken in broken condition so in this situation that every everyone is just uh, taking nama prad in this present situation and that actual mahatsangya that harinam actual harinam it is very difficult to get out but still there is actually de- deficiency of that of actual naam but there is not that much problem because why because bhakti no thakur prabhu is speaking that if you are not getting that actual source then what to do shri chaitanya bhagavat shri chaitanya chaitamrit in bhagavatam whatever the actual uh, glorification of hari uh, sadhu guru vishnu and about what kind of love they have for bhagwan you just go on thinking about that and just do naam sankirtan like that maybe in my, in thinking in mentally you just need to do their association bhakti no thakur prabhupada has just told this point that kali kale sadhu pavah kothin janiya kali kale sadhu pavah kothin janiya sadhu guru rupe krishna aila no this we already heard this point a lot of times so do sadhu guru vishnu this kind of abhav this is this kind of deficiency we have of them if we will be just thinking opposite way that jeevas what they have that topmost luck that in this kalikal they have just taken birth where all those demigods also want to take birth even demigods have this kind of uh, prayer to both krishna that or thakur ji in this uh, in this demigod race if something is left inside some donation and some luck is there for us then definitely we just want to need take birth in india in bharat bhumi on the on the land of india we just want to take birth that is the actual prayer of demigods all the time to the lotus feet of krishna but if demigods are just praying to bhagwan so we are actually so much lucky that we have just taken birth on that holy land of bharat the actual luck for the jeevas there is no uh, limit to that this kind of uh, golden opportunity to get bhakti this is not at all possible in it is impossible to get the so in the coming uh, yug coming yug of satyug satyug will come in the four coming years and and uh, whatever satyug has gone previously this kind of uh, luck is was not there at all and maybe come for upcoming uh, satyug it will not be this kind of luck will not be there what is that that it is already written in written bhagavad ji mahapuran loudly it is written in front of all speaking rajan in bhagavatam in bhagavad ji mahapuran it is already written Shri Karvajan Rishi has just speaking to Nirimi Maharaj. He has instructed him that Maharaj Ji, in Satyug, whatever those people who are taking birth in Satyug, those who are thinking that themselves that they are very lucky, that they also want that they should get uh, birth in Kaliyug. What to get in Satyug? In Satyug, those who are just taking birth, uh, we will just uh, get Bhagwan. It is not the point. Maybe facility is more in Satyug. because lot of uh, power is there and uh, the condition and atmosphere is good in satyug but uh, that's why it is called satyug is called kritayug so in this satyug uh, kritayug it is called kritayug why 
बिकॉज वेन यू आर टेकिंग बर्थ एट द सेम टाइम ही इज बिकमिंग ऑल इज डिलीवर्ड वेन ही इज टेकिंग बर्थ इन सत्यु ऑल दट देर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ गेटिंग डिलीवर्ड वेरी इजिली बिकॉज ही हैज वन लैक ईयर्स सो मच टाइम ही हैज एंड आफ्टर दैट ही द एनवायरमेंट एंड एटमोसफियर इज वेरी गुड मे बी सम डेमोनिक करेक्टर्स आर देयर बट इट इज नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम देयर इन भागवत जी महापुराण ऑल्सो दिस करभजन ऋषि इज एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग टू नीमी महाराज दैट इन राजन इन दिस सत्युग सम एक्चुअली इन सम इज जस्ट वॉन्ट्स टू गेट अ बर्थ इन स्पेशली वन कलयुग दे हैव दिस काइंड ऑफ डिजायर टू गेट बर्थ इन कलयुग इन नॉट इन एवरी युग especially this kalyug special kalyug they just want to get the birth they have this uh, kind of desire to get birth in that special kalyug why because by this uh, what happens that in this kalyug especially swayam bhagwan swayam bhagwan is just coming in the form of devotees in front of us in this kalyug there is no leela avatar of bhagwan in kali kalyug but this prachann avatar of bhagwan the, the prachann avatar is definitely there prachann avatar is there of bhagwan isliye likha hua hai that's why it is written there swayam bhagwan swayam bhagwan is just coming prachann he has just uh, transformed his form and in a very hidden form he has come in front of us in this material world it is already written in the 7th canto of bhagavad gita mahapuran prachanna is come in the prachanna avatar and sarvam bhattacharya that gopinath acharya is there he was they were just discussing with each other in that discussion they were discussing that this kind of uh, all things they were discussing with each other when sarvam bhattacharya actually speaking that in kaliyug the kaliyug there is no avatar of bhagwan how you are speaking that chaitanya mahaprabhu is bhagwan is all useless you are talking how it is possible you are just speaking like that without any proof so this uh, sarvam bhattacharya speaking then gopinath acharya he is speaking to gopinath acharya like this and after that just while speaking gopinath acharya was feeling very distressed that you are actually a big pandit you yourself uh, thinks as uh, th- thinking yourself as pandit you are thinking yourself as pandit huh eh? but uh, you don't have any kind of vichar about uh, mahabharat and any kind of scripture you don't have any kind of vichar you yourself thinking yourself as pandit you don't in bhagavad gita mahapuran it is written there this is already written about everything now you are speaking it is not written but it is written there in mahabharat also it is written sukarna varna the shloka is there lot of shlokas are there by which we can prove that in kalikal bhagwan is definitely there in kalikal in bhagavad gita mahapurana in upanishad in it's all the written there lekin aap kehte ho but you are speaking that in kali kal it is not there how it is possible then for what purpose it is being told for whom it is told then then krishna varnam that krishna has just taken this form varna they have this two varna just by just doing the sankirtan and jap of this and there is some this is also have some meaning it is not uh, possible to do uh, this church all together discussion all together the mahaprabhu has just come and this yagya purush has parat par akeleshwar that krishna chaitanya who is swayam krishna you just need to do aradhan we just need to by that sankirtan yagya by doing that archan by tapasya you can't do that in this kaliyug only you have to do with naam sankirtan
that it is written there so especially in this kaliyug at the time of birth everyone wants to take birth in this kaliyug and in the mahabharat also it is already written in mahabharat in that shloka it is written in upanishad also it is written in bhagavad ji mahabharat this way definitely is there all the time it is written there but but our uh, darshan it is our darshan is not there in all these scriptures what where it very where our darshan we are actually mayavadi we am not speaking any foul word but they are actually thinking that you are thinking yourself as pandit but uh, you are actually giving your identification as that you are a big pandit that you are just identify yourself as big pandit but you are not careful about this point the main shastra bhagavad gita mahapuran mahabharat on upanishad every everywhere there is proof maybe bhagwan is not doing uh, leela avatar in kali yuga but he is doing prachhanna avatar in kali kal there is chhanna avatar it means it looks like it it will it the avatar will not speak that i am avatar but i someone else is speaking maharaj you are just looking like krishna he she she you don't speak like that even just by hearing this it is not at all good just taking a, uh, one of the fingers into the ears what you are speaking like this don't speak any bonded jeevas as bhagwan bhagwan just told that in front of us don't speak any bonded jeeva as krishna oh ho oh, oh, ho oh, don't speak like that bonded jeev they had infinity relationship with that there is infinity difference between a bonded jeev and a bhagwan don't speak any bonded jeev as krishna no that is not good at all not even just to hear that also it is sinful for me so in this means that he is just doing it in a hidden hidden form kalo channa avatar ha prabhu when gopinath acharya has a just taking the proof of all the shastra but still he is not uh, understanding sarvamatta there is still not understanding at last gopinath acharya has just told him that you see i just i don't have any time to just uh, argue with you when you will get kripa of bhagwan full kripa and devotees kripa you will get then whatever i am speaking in front of you that is the topmost you will uh, understand this you will definitely do understand this one but now you are not understanding what to do i can't argue with you and i can't uh, spoil my time what it's written gopinath acharya what is speaking gopinath swami is speaking very nicely ishwarer ki pale swayto jahare sei to ishwar tatto jane this um, gopinath acharya has told and all the other people searching from infinity period if you are searching you are doing your search and research program you are just uh, doing that from your infinity period you just go on doing your research and research program from infinity period but you will not get successfulness you will not get success why you just go on that path because logical in the way of the absolute truth on the transcendental platform if you have that uh, everyone don't get that kind of capacity to have to follow that transcendental truth who has got that guru kripa and vishnu kripa in their life they can only follow that so what to argue with you i can't argue with that i on can't argue on this point with you so these also demigods are also speaking if when i we will get your kripa only at that point bhagwan everything we can just uh, get of yours 
वी वी कैन गेट टू नो एवरीथिंग अबाउट यू भगवत तत्व कैन ओनली दैट पर्सन कैन अंडरस्टैंड इन दोज लाइफ दे हैव जस्ट गॉट लॉट ऑफ कृपा फ्रॉम गुरु वैष्णव दोज हु हैव लॉट ऑफ कृपा ऑफ ऑल ऑफ गुरु वैष्णव वाई बिकॉज दे हैव दैट देयर टारगेट इज फिक्सड दे नो दैट I am just uh, apart from Bhagwat Seva. I don't want to do anything else. For them, definitely that kripa will definitely come to them. This kripa of Guru Vishnu, Guru Guru Dev always used to speak that they are actually they are thinking, they are speaking. Go oh, do kripa, do kripa, and do kripa on us, and they are just uh, wandering here and there. Maybe some be going to Vindavan, maybe going to Puri Maharaj. We are just going to Tirth Stan. and um, one devote actually speaking actually i am speaking to them you see actually you are going to the all the streets of sin this is all kind of sensual gratification for you they are just surprised i am actually speaking right to you so you are going kashi gaya vrindavan mathura whatever you are all going there aapka jana you don't have this kind of uh, intelligence that for you whether you have just gone to sadguru vaishnav to just uh, get out of this material world or not why you are going to guru vaishnav in order to get out of this material world you are not at all ready to get out of that all your child child relatives wives everything you are busy in them but you don't have this kind of uh, thinking that i will be doing hari bhajan how it is possible to do hari bhajan like this you just need to leave relatives you have to leave life wife everything if you have that kind of thing then you give your actual uh, identification in front of us in front of me then you tell me yes but you are not at all ready to uh, leave them you know, hari bhajan you are thinking is very cheap huh? is it like this and if you are doing hari bhajan in house still there is some kind of uh, uh, rules and regulation and bhakti man thakur shivanan sen everyone is actually uh, unhappy this kind of uh, gras devotees like bhakti man thakur they don't have kind of any amangal in their life they have all the time amangal and mangal bhakti man thakur has also written in kirtan as well about this point when in uh, household life we are doing uh, sankirtan it means that in that house when all the time kind of uh, remembrance and the smaran of bhagwan is going all the time that is called golok dham where all the time naam sankirtan is going on that is that is golok dham that is the actual vichar no that is the actual vichar by staying in the house or maybe staying in the forest there is no difference this naam sankirtan has to do band with all her wife relatives and child is actually busy this is actually household life oh it's already written there this is actual proof written there they are already written this point years have just gone maybe 18 20 years gone you have just taken diksha and still you have just attraction with your wife and child and relatives i just told you just come oh maharaj i will come definitely but maybe i'll sometime i'll come maybe in satyuga and treta yuga you will come <laughs> when you will come to me when we i don't know that it is very difficult then you will just be far distant it will be more good otherwise it will be very much heavy for you even one word if you will be just hearing if you are just hearing one word that household person they are just leaving household and you are just hearing so much harikatha prabhu speaking 
they, I don't want to speak anything. Prabhupada is speaking this. Yesterday or maybe day before yesterday I have told that just by hearing so much kathas, this kind of attraction for material things, it is not at all going. Now what to do in that? That I am actually doing my duty and what to do apart from that? It is not a, a thing that forcefully I will be just uh, doing you that you do Hari Bhujan with uh, a stick in my hand. Prabhupada speaking and if you will uh, just be doing forcefully that it will become a material activity. It will just come in karma. If you will be just doing forcefully that you just have to do Hari Bhajan like this then it will become a, it is not bhakti, it, it will become karma. So those who you, if you will be doing any forceful attitude, if he is doing Definitely his Mangal will be there. His father will not be at Mangal. He will get definitely get Mangal in his life. He will do Hari Bhajan. If a person is doing, a, is hearing Hari Katha Harinam for one time, he just left his house. One time there are a lot of, uh, uh, lot of uh, uh, stories are there. And uh, one person actually with a full unhappy mood, he is actually going here, there, everywhere, all Varanasi place, everywhere he has gone. And so Kipa of Krishna is there, that in Varanasi at that time there is uh, one Harikatha of Bhagavad Katha of one Vaishnav. And everything that Prasadam will also got, that is open Bandara, okay, you can come and take. And uh, he is speaking that, okay, I will be just uh, staying here for two to four days. And there is actually, there is a nice uh, ground is there and Gangaji is there and I will just take bath here and just be staying here and everything will be done. And after that uh, he just stayed there and just uh, for the first day actually of Bhagavad Katha he just uh, sit there and just hearing her Bhagavad Katha and he just came on to that. Uh, situation where actually there is glorification of Bhagwaji and uh, and suddenly one word just come this word only one word is just getting into his ears this shloka he has heard and after that his mind just caught he is speaking that so nice uh, actually he is speaking and actually all kind of uh, atyachar that my wife and relatives have done now I definitely will not go to my house I have just left it from inside I have just left my house now I have no relationship and attachment with that oh go go away I have just thrown them so this one shlok his whole life is just get transformed there is complete transformation in his life, but we are just hearing so much Harikatha, we are not getting any because we have Kapat Bhav inside us. Those who are always virakta, those who are all the time detached with this material thing. Bhagavan Katha is going all the time inside their heart. So he don't have any kind of question to go back to the sansar material world. And if someone is getting and Krishna is giving us the pathway, actual pathway, then everything is done. And there are a lot of people like this. Those who are after hearing so much, they are not understanding this point. They are, oh Maharaj, what kind of seva I should do? Tell me, they are speaking. Even one fraction of second, they don't want to leave this material world. They are speaking, oh Maharaj, what kind of seva I should do? You are just be giving some money to me. Huh? You just have understand this. Okay, Maharaj is just a beggar, I should give him like this. He, but nobody wants to sacrifice their life. So that is the actual condition, what to do. So Karbhajan Rishi speaking to Nimi Maharaj, that Maharaj, this Satyog, actually those who are all the people of Satyog, they are especially want to take the birth in Kalyug. They are very, have this kind of desire to get Kalyug, uh, to get birth in this special Kalyug. Because in this Kalyug, especially in this Kalyug, Swayam Bhagavan has come in the form of devotee in front of us. They have just taken the form of a devotee. 
and in all the four direction all the four directions the bhagavad naam will be going and this naam sankirtan will be going on he is doing naam sankirtan in all the four direction everywhere and this bhagwan just taking the form of devotees that channa avatar is taking in this kalikal at the time of uh, lunar eclipse just by taking the just by taking uh, at the time of lunar eclipse he is taking the birth he is doing avirbhav nobody has was doing uh, harinam there are some people in this life now actually we are what to speak at that time in chaitanya bhagavat you can see how what is the actual situation of this whole samaj material world they are just like dogs and cats i have already seen this thing i have just taken uh, prasadam there also at the child in the childhood they are actually just uh, uh, making merry of some uh, doll and someone has called all puri and kachori everything they were just giving and now i am under- just thinking actually in childhood i used to take bandara of the marriage of one doll and in chatanya bhagavat it is and everyone is just busy in the uh, in the arrangement of dogs and cats and in the arrangements of marriage of doll everyone is busy in this okay you take the anand in this not to do anything but if you want to actual uh, uh, there is mangal chandi you want to do mangal chandi kirtan <laughs> that is the actual uh, 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 target of us this kind of thinking mahaprabhu has just changed it so actually surprising to see that by the avirbhav of mahaprabhu at the time of lunar eclipse when mahaprabhu just came means that we need stainless chandrama we need we don't need this kind of chandrama that we need stainless uh, moon that's why mahaprabhu has just to get avirbhav in front of us and it's very surprising to see that at the time of uh, lunar eclipse this uh, all the persons knowingly or unknowingly just speaking hare krishna those who haven't spoken in even once that krishna naam they are speaking hare krishna hare krishna at the bank of river ganga they are just taking bath you see this effect of prabhu this is the actual effect of prabhu this is the actual surprising effect of bhagwan he will definitely be doing the naam sankirtan knowingly or unknowingly maybe he has taken birth but the effect was just uh, spread it in all the four direction they don't know why they are just getting uh, anand that unknowingly that kind of uh, anand is going uh, inside their heart and everyone is going to the river ganga to take bath that is the actual effect of bhagwan that sankirtan pita shri krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu that is his actual effect so much effect he has that everyone is going to river ganga and taking bath and those who haven't done hare krishna also they are also going there and taking bath even the child at the time when they have their child also when we were just be crying ha uh, ha uh, like that and uh, if someone actually speaking hare krishna like someone speaking then the child will stop crying so all those uh, females and all those uh, gopikas they are speaking hey, his name is gaur hari hey gaur hari hari bol just stop crying like this you do hari naam don't speak any material talking i am very much unhappy mahaprabhu actually speaking this from the childhood you don't speak any material talking then uh, prabhu will just be started crying more heavily and when they are speaking bhajan then everyone will stop he will stop crying they are all the people just thinking that uh, is very strange uh, child is they are speaking hare krishna like that and the child stop crying and at the time of avirbhav of mahaprabhu mahaprabhu is this is this is the actual uh, target of mahaprabhu just to just to give hari naam to each and every one and uh, this is actually top most thing this is a very top most point nobody wants to speak about this point when all the time tears are flowing continuously from my eyes and my body is just getting that uh, i am doing hari naam but my vocal cords are just uh, getting stammered that hari naam is not coming out from the vocal cords 
and my body is getting that eight kind of different symptoms of prema is getting inside my body that satvik vikar is coming when it will come when this kind of situation is come inside my body when it will come thakur ji this actually ma'am who told bhakti no thakur ji has just done kirtan just like a thunderbolt and only by not i am not getting any transformation towards your naam and no and no uh, kind of bhav is coming on to my body no effect is there of that actual naam on me and after that he speaking in because in order to just live only naam is there just to survive if someone actually thinking that by money power position education by this we support we will just be living he is actually number dar someone is actually is become some father is very much wealthy and uh, what is our actual uh, thinking dare maharaj just we don't have that bhav because that bhav is not there inside us we are we are just becoming like a beggar street beggar because we don't have that bhav spiritually we don't have even a single bhav inside us i don't have any kind of uh, cost of spiritualness inside me so we just by name i'm just speaking that what is the actual wealth that is bhagwat naam and when that bhagwat naam is not there then i am just a street beggar and when that person is in this material world he has left everything of this material world and just want to become actual wealthy it means that by krishna naam that he want to get prem bhakti he just becomes wealthy that is actually called mahaprabhu is all brahma shankar everyone is just welcoming that oh he has come so see the two difference between these two there is one that he is become spiritually beggar that i don't have any kind of wealth for this spiritual life what mahaprabhu has just told just by crying who has told this point only mahaprabhu has told this point just in order to just teach us this point mahaprabhu just started crying practically has shown us this point that that when there is no krishna prem inside their heart then he is the most uh, fallen and uh, he is the spiritually beggar just not by speaking everyone is uh, poor in this whole infinity brahmand also everyone is poor nobody you will get that spiritual actual richness you will not get we will get that wealthy person who is spiritually wealthy mahaprabhu has just told this those gopikas which are speaking in front of us that i am we are ashul kudasi ka We don't need anything in return. We don't need any kind of wealth, material wealth. We will just be doing seva like this without any concentration. And Mahaprabhu is also speaking that I will be doing this kind of seva what the Gopikas have done. I will be doing the seva in the same manner what how Gopikas have done. This kind of seva I will do like that. This Mahaprabhu has told. and brain them is the actual wealth apart from that whatever material wealth and uh, treasure is there it will definitely will put us in tra- trouble and it will become a spiritual beggars because we are actually thinking that we will be just leaving this body and uh, all those uh, uh, just be thinking of those of our relatives and wives and child and we will be leaving our body like that whatever you will be just having that consciousness at the time of your death 
definitely you will just get stick to that consciousness and according to that you will get your body in your next birth those who are rich people which are those who are externally very rich that they, they are the top most beggars and those who are externally beggars like madhvendra puripad they don't have even single penny so much uh, he, that he is the top most to wealth wealthy because that prem than that prem wealth is the top most thing other than this is not at all wealth ma prabhu told so when there is a uh, when there is no bhav inside us that is a top most distressful condition in our life the devotees that bhav is the top most when that bhav is gone then everything is gone bhav when there is a restriction of bhav when there is a, there is no bhav inside the devotees and everything is gone takur ji that inside of all of this bhav should not get less when the bhav is going down then that actual that is actual nakedness will become naked that's my mahaprabhu speaking in kirtan bhakti mein thakur speaking then bhakti is not there bhav is not there then why we are actually living mahaprabhu speaking that the this uh, our life is just like small insects that life is there inside our body it is looks like insects this actually my life actually is just like in comparison to insects because it is of not of any use every uh, beast and birds they are just uh, even dogs and cats are just living for themselves if you are becoming sadhu and you are living for yourself then what is the use of becoming a pure vaishnav you are just living for yourself but you are not at all living for others you are actually just going on the opposite way na that at least if you are just living for yourself that is good but uh, you are actually living to just kill others that is the topmost maya bondage that is very much dangerous each and every uh, birds and beast everyone they are just living for themselves but uh, if a sadhu guru vaishnav is just be living for uh, himself then what is the comparison between a sadhu and all those beast and birds and dogs and cats their life is just for the all those pure guru vaishnav and for everyone their life should be there so that they can protect others that is the actual pure vaishnav that is actual glorification of pure vaishnav mahaprabhu actually just started crying and then speaking that uh, this kind of uh, pran this is just like insect my life is just like insect why i am just getting this life um, i am just able to just protect my life like what will go and come by that i am actually doing nothing at all in the life of a devotee this is the actual bhav in their life that i have done nothing and maybe just he is living or uh, dying haridas takur ji speaking this point same haridas actually want to go from this material world by this everything for every leela is just because of you and if you will go away and uh, haridas takur speaking you don't speak like this like me actually a lot of insects like me are there in this infinity brahman and if one insect will die what will what is your problem you don't speak like this what actually will come in your life and go if i you have in in, in infinity brahman like an insect like me are so much and if one insect will die what will happen nothing will happen so you see the actual bhav of devotees so nice beautiful bhav those devotees have those pure vaishnav so much nice bhav is there haridas thakur ji has told this point to mahaprabhu he is actually a big king in the bhajan rajya he is the topmost king of his nama charya he is actually speaking like this that actually like me and mahaprabhu also is just giving the same identification like that mahaprabhu also giving the same identification mahaprabhu speaking that slightly if there is some smell of prem is not at all there inside me no no bhakti is there inside me thakur ji at your lotus feet i don't have even a smell of bhakti on your lotus feet so what to do in that but still i am living but still i am living 
just this foolish dirty and useless useless life in order to run that i am just living i am just doing all kinds of uh, efforts to do in hari in at the lotus feet of hari i don't have any kind of prema on the lotus feet of krishna at the lotus feet of hari i don't have even a single nishta i don't have on the lotus feet of hari महाप्रभु स्पीकिंग दैट यू सी बट स्टिल आई एम जस्ट क्राइंग सो दैट एक्सप्रेस माई लाभ आई एम जस्ट इन दिस एफर्ट वंशी बदन विदाउट द गेटिंग द दर्शन ऑफ कृष्णा हाउ एंड वाई विथ वॉट इज माई एक्चुअल इंटेंशन आई एम जस्ट लिविंग दिस लाइफ एक्चुअली इज इन दल्सो इन द इंसेक्ट ऑल्सो आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू जस्ट प्रोटेक्ट दैट लाइफ इन साइड मी i am just uh, uh, expressing myself to uh, to live more this ma prabhu speaking so this see the vichar and where actually we are in the fallen condition no prema bandho sti dharati me haru tatha vikrandami shobhaka varam prakashitum jag vamshi vilasana no lokanam vina vibhavi prana patang kana prasa now it is all useless i am just like an insect just uh, uh, protecting my life and all the efforts i am doing in protecting my life i should just be feeling very bad i am mahaprabhu actually just feeling bad on himself so you can understand this point now that this kind of abhav bhav should not get less in the heart of a devotee even if it's slight one drop of bhav is just to protect my life oh krishna just give me one drop of bhav when that hari naam by speaking that my eyes will be just having full of tears continuously and that almost naam sankirtan is going on the time my tongue is just speaking is just like chaja chaja go go in a stammering voice i'll be speaking your naam my vocal cords will just stammer can't speak your name and all my whole satvik ast satvik vikar will be there inside my whole body it will just get transformed in that my whole body our body will become vivarna and this kind of ast satvik vikar will come inside our body and just in unconscious state i will just fall down and just by taking the naam ashray i will just be protecting my life i'll be just moving like that ab ye to mera and now mera ye binti this is my actual request on the lotus feet mera ye prarthana this is my actual prayer or prayer on the lotus feet but other this is my desire and rest is your desire if you will just accept it then it is okay otherwise rest is your desire whether you will do it or not but this is my actual prayer on your lotus feet thakur ji this is my only prayer bhakti no thakur ji has just uh, 
and they written a lot of things i don't have this much time to just discuss that much but i will just be dis- discussing the summary it is not all possible to discuss the whole thing from the shastra and from the bhagavat also bhakti no thakur ji is just giving us the actual proof kuch praman uddhar karke given us some proofs he is just uh, uh, giving in front of us from bhagavad gita mahapuran like from the 11th canto and then the third adhyay it is written
it is coming from that bowl of vrindavan and it is coming from that vakunth all the time it is coming non stop spontaneously on the tongue of that pure guru vaishnav they have that aerial connection with bhagwan so this is already written in bhakti vinod thakur has written about this shloka the actual uh, glorification of this shloka he has written that those devotees are like this those who all the time are just uh, busy in uh, uh the thinking of bhagwan and all the they are doing all the time naam sankirtan of the glorification of hari naam and his characteristics they are all the time just glorifying the qualities of bhagwan with the they are all the time busy in the nourishment of their atma and different kinds of uh, how to get out of this unhappiness it automatically will be will be getting out of that unhappy mood it is automatically done when we are just taking the shelter of naam sankirtan
and they are seeing this way of sadhan they automatically this kind of tears are flowing automatically continuously from their cheeks from their eyes automatically these tears are flowing from the eyes in the bhagavad gita mahabharam from 11th canto another bhakti mo thakur has just given other proofs also it is written there kachit rudati achit chintaya kachit hasanti nandanti vadanti alokika nettanti gayanti anusilayanti ajam bhavanti tushim paramitta nivrita eki there is only it is almost the same there is all another shlok from prahlad mara speaking sati rudhi rudhati he unmad bad lok bahiya kalam chacha definitely are you speaking this shlok of prahlad maharaj is actually prahlad maharaj is has this kind of situation so it is written there kachit rudanti kachit rudanti achit chintaya kachit santi nannanti badanti alokika ha कुलशेखर जी ऑल्सो स्पीक कर so nice uh, nice uh, shlok is this so nice bhava in this shlok so this is a this kind of vishe that it is just not uh, it is not a lecture i am not just speaking a lecture in front of you that just by lecture you can just understand this point in those life definitely he will understand that thing Who, in which on whose life this practically is happening only he can understand externally any amount of philosophy and lecture you are speaking it is not at all possible to give them that understanding this is actually the kripa vishay those who are getting that kind of kripa and rasa definitely they can understand this point otherwise nobody can understand this point maybe they have lot of money power education power man power whatever they have but that is of no use it is all useless maybe you have that bank account money power every have money power but still you can't go you will can't get on this pathway i know that you in your life so much money is there that you are just be throwing me just like a dust particle i know that i know that they, i know this thing but still you be careful about this point that because this is a very dangerous thing on going on this pathway there is not at all a fighting mood is there everything will get destroyed there is one pathway where just by going there there is no kind of fighting at all and uh, will you definitely will become uh, you will become definitely you will shut up the pandit gan they are all they are not at all fighting at with each other when they are coming on this pathway you understand this point it's already written there when chaitanya mahaprabhu those all those parshad we are just we are not taking the darshan by not this not with these eyes we are just by taking with the heart we are not taking darshan of any parshad because lot of fighting will definitely be there i am just fighting with that acharya no i am acharya he is acharya they are just fighting with each other you just see this point there is a one point yeah, i will become acharya he will become acharya so you see what uh, this very very foolishness is there we should feel very uh, insulting while just is, uh, hearing this kind of things every person will just kicking us everyone will just spitting on you on this if you are just this the respect of the sampradaya they are just going to destroy that at least they should go to the house and they should get that sadhu sang maybe they will be just going to get some we get some child but they are just destroyed the whole sampradaya like this what is this actually 
maybe this is the actual uh, thing of uh, fighting actual they uh, just insulting what is actually going on so on the money power by money power you can't uh, get victory over this there is one next place there you just need to go and just uh, put and uh, have that humble mood otherwise your head will get cut off if you will not maya devi will just cut your throat uh, cut your head and throw throw the throw your head off if you will you not be putting your head down then definitely your father and grandfather your all maya devi will cut off you just go away from here like this it will happen you haven't seen this maybe maharaj actually we have just taken diksha what kind of diksha you have done all foolish you haven't seen that mahapurush even you are you haven't seen him that mahapurush that aprakrit uh, that even stool and urine also prakrit you haven't seen you haven't seen that seen that also huh. so what kind of what diksha you have taken what sanyas you have become acharya what is that all foolish just just making them fool you haven't seen anything you when you have got that darshan then definitely you will not do that that is the actual that is a legal evidence that is the legal evidence of all the shastras scriptural legal evidence shastra is legal This is the actual proof. So this is the thing. So this is the thing. Guru Vishnu ka darshan milna. Just to get uh, the darshan of Guru Vishnu is very rare. If he has got the darshan of Guru Vishnu, then he don't have that kind of instability in his inside his heart. That he is going high here and there. Way. What? What? Why he is actually going here and there? Because he haven't seen the darshan of Guru Charan. when he is getting that uh, shubha darshan that topmost darshan then they will not go they will not be leaving guru charan at all all the time this uh, actual disciple they will they are just doing aarti all the time of that guru charan there is not even a single time fraction of second is not there when this disciple actually is not at all doing the aarti of gurudev all the time that disciple is actually doing the aarti of uh, continuously he is doing aarti aarti just to do aarti means that to do guru seva all the time when the deer when the deer of the forest it is already written there maharaj how how he can do aarti of krishna he has just taken the darshan of krishna bhagwan and go mata also has just taken the darshan of krishna and they don't have this kind of capacity to do aarti so what they can do just by their eyes that prem my drishti they are doing they are just seeing krishna that is actually they are just doing aarti like that all those cows and deer and they are and they don't have this kind of capacity to do aarti so they are actually just by seeing bhagwan with prema that is their aarti the disciple aarti the aarti of disciple means that they are all the time busy in guru seva they are not at all busy in lagu seva those who don't have any kind of ruchi for lagu seva they don't have any kind of ruchi for lagu seva those who do, they are not at all doing lagu seva where there is lagu seva they are not at all going even uh, they, are, they are just uh, maharaj actually you come here no no i don't have any time you you do your own function they are actually just running out of that because they know that at that place there is no guru seva there is actually lagu seva and why do don't want to get into lagu seva at all that is actually lagu seva going on all katha kirtan actually they are doing this is all lagu seva there there no guru seva because there is no anugatya at all where there is no anugatya where there is no respect of shrot pantha where all the time fighting is going on at that place 100% there is lagu seva there is not at all guru seva the guru seva is not like that guru seva they don't know actually but just by seeing only you can see that but maybe you can't see because of aparad your consciousness got dropped 
your uh, your uh, consciousness drops so by seeing also you can't even predict but guru vishnu also they are just speaking opposite to guru vishnu they are just speaking foul words to guru vishnu they are just fighting with them and just kicking them out so this is the actual situation so tomorrow we will be just discussing this point that how prahlad maharaj ji is just speaking this shlok so here it is also, and prahlad maharaj ji speaking who will speak what who will speak what this kind of uh, uh, result they are not at all worried about this kind of uh, darshan they don't have what to what will speak what this kind of uh, darshan they don't have at all when they have that prema for krishna oh i am actually just be doing uh, tilak and going to the office what other people will speak and this kind of vichar when it's coming there with that tilak only you just need to go to the office without tilak you should not go each and everywhere where the person is speaking whatever is speaking okay he can speak just plus just like dog he can just bark otherwise he will other he will definitely be facing the result definitely he will be stopping stop barking so the prahlad maharaj speaking that maybe whatever is speaking what this kind of vichar is not there at all they are all the time busy with naam sankirtan of bhagwan they are all the time in deep uh, trance for bhagwat naam they are actually just forgetting this point so bhakti no thakur ji actually speaking this in this body that kind of atma buddhi that kind of top most uh, knowledge transcendental knowledge just gets inside i have already discussed this point and if you can can't understand this that uh, it is also good and when you are not remembering it is also 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 good <laughs> so this sanatan go swami pad in brahad bhagavad amrit also has written this shlok this is this shlok is very important to speak here this shlok sanatan go swami pad has just spoken in front of us just by hari kirtan hai hari kirtan slowly steadily what will happen so this sanatan go swami pad has told us sanatan go swami pad has told this point to us same point that krishna bhakti sudha pana that krishna just to take the rasa of krishna bhakti when actually the persons are just forgetting this point that what is my actual parichay what is my actual swarup when he just forget this point he don't have this kind of remembrance that he is thinking that whatever is this body and related to this body whatever object is there he is actually just forgetting that he is not at all uh, getting that in his mind that bhakti mo thakur has given us one um, Uh, that he is actually showing bhav in this bhakti samaj and uh, he is actually just showing his smartness in this material things as well bhakti mota was speaking this i was just speaking 15 days back i was just speaking about this point but nobody wants but you are not at all remembering this bhakti mota was speaking that all these devotees this kind of shraddha what kind of bhakti they have where they are actually going and just like a chameleon you know chameleon chameleon is just uh, is actually just uh, transforming his color of the body he is just changing the changing the body of uh, color of body there are some kind of sanyasi like this somebody has told me then in havra station actually with full pant and shirt i have just seen him yes i have seen him uh, on the havra station and the airport also i have seen him so he is sanyasi you see and this kind of things are going on you see he is actually just taking the bag of sanyas and he is just taking it inside and when he is coming back he is just taking the sanyas with him so lot of uh, situations are like this i have this kind of news with me so what to do now you see the kali has so much prabhav that where he will go now he will in the kali yuga definitely everything he will, he will be looted in kali definitely but what to do 
सो दिस वेरी सिचुएशन इज वेरी डेंजरस कृष्ण भक्ति दैट जस्ट बाई टेकिंग दैट रस अपराकृत रस ऑफ कृष्ण द वॉट एवर इट इज रिलेटेड टू बॉडी एंड बॉडी रिलेटेड थिंग एवरी थिंग इज जस्ट यू विल फॉर गेट दैट यू विल नॉट रिमेंबर एनी थिंग रिगार्डिंग टू दिस बॉडी वेन दिस काइंड ऑफ कंडीशन कम्स दैन वॉट विल हैपन दैट दिस काइंड ऑफ डिवोर्स इज दो आई एम ऑलरेडी स्पीकिंग अबाउट दिस काइंड ऑफ डिवोर्ट इज फॉर दैम दिस फाइव काइंड ऑफ एलिमेंट्स मेड ऑफ बॉट दिस बॉडी they are just forgetting them but still that likes bhagwan is sachidanand at the same time that bhav sachidanand bhav will also come in devotees as well so you see what kind of thing is from up till what point you have to go up till what point we have to go uh, then actual bhajan is possible and then that kind of situation we will get that in our body and and we will just be getting uh, relieved from everything material things so this is the point Lord, very serious and serious condition is that, and we are actually sitting like this. And when uh, Ram will die, and when uh, Ravan will become king, Ram will not die at all. Ram is actually Swayam Bhagwan. Hmm. So this kind of vichar you are not at all doing. Bhakti Mohan Thakur actually speaking that this body all the time, this kind of Atma Bodhi is there. That Nibriti. of atma buddhi because of that they are actually not at all they are not at all thinking about this material world they are thinking that material world is everything but there is not at all any kind of uh, they are all the time sometimes crying sometimes they are laughing so whatever just like mad they are speaking they are all the time with full anand and they are just dancing and they don't have maybe that they are alone and they are in the house they are just speaking and talking with someone but you can't understand because this bhav this this kind of bhav they have this maharaj has just attained that you will not understand what is his situation you will be thinking that he is mad actually but sometimes he is singing sometimes he is laughing so this kind of bhav will be there all the time continuously spontaneous bhav is going on inside his heart and this these people they are just glorifying hari naam and they are just getting the sansar actual sansar of hari so when this bhav is there inside their heart then definitely hari will also will not stay like that hari will definitely in between them he will come and just take their darshan so in vrindavan also brajwasi always used to speak in vrindavan Lord, nice, very nice kirtan. They are just doing this. I was just laughing. This is the actual thing. If the devotees are doing this, definitely Hari is also getting attracted to that. Oh, how I will go to him? But uh, this Hari actually, this Hari Bhajan is. We are not at all ready to do this Hari Bhajan like this. So this is our actual situation. You see. Sometimes all those devotees they become very peaceful. and sometimes they are not speaking at uh, and no not speaking anything in front of anyone they are just becoming mad like this so this is the actual situation so this is the actual say to what will happen nobody knows those devotees so much serious so much they are uh, they have so much deep bhav inside their heart so propad actually to go to propad and just to speak one two words it is one kind of dream in front of us it is not at all possible oh so no one can speak if someone is going in front of propas he will just stammer he can't even speak properly in front of propa that is the actual effect because he is so much deep in the bhav that's why so strong personality is propa that just by seeing him we will just become surprised and amazed so this is actually the devotee those who are actually true devotees when you will see in front of them then you can't even understand aapko farak mehsoos hota hai and you will uh, feel the difference so this is actually natural those who have this eyes definitely they will see those who are blind just by doing aparad they have just become blind no they can do whatever they can do it is no what we can speak of them up till now we will just be giving rest up till this point
I am feeling that I should give rest up till this point today, and uh, and uh, tomorrow I will be just discussing the other things, and uh, this shloka, Krishna Varnam, I will be just glorifying this shloka. Definitely, I'll be describing this point. What is what is the actual meaning of this shloka? Krishna Varnam, Tisha Krishna, Shanga Panga, Sto Parshadam, Jagvai. संकीर्तन प्राय जजंती ही सुमेधस वाचकल्पद्रुवसिंधु विवच पथितान पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नम क्षमा करे वाचकल्पद्रुवस कि वासिंदु पथितान पावनेभ्यो नमो